Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning about blurs and playing with blur effects in Olive. Uh, I have a video clip brought in here, these dandelions with a green screen, really cool. I think I'm gonna use it for the chroma key tutorial in just a minute here, or in a couple of videos. And um, I just wanna show you, I got this from pixabay.com. This is a great place for getting free stock video and stock images. And this particular video was uploaded by Rim Arc Aljor. So thank you for this user for supplying this video. It's a really cool, high quality video that we can use um, and appreciate uh, them sharing that. So let's come back here. Um, to apply a blur, we need to make sure we click on the clip that we want to apply the effect to, first of all, because it is an effect. And then we'll hover over this add effects and go to blur. And we see we have four different options for blur. If we do this box blur, we see it gets a little bit more blurred there and we can change this radius, which makes it more blurry and less blurry. We can also blur on a certain axis, which will change the way. So we've got vertical and horizontal. I'm gonna right click and delete this effect. So there's nothing applied. We'll click up here again and go to blur and we can do a directional blur. And this lets us do the same thing, only instead of the vertical, so horizontal and vertical, we can actually change that angle around and rotate and change kind of the effect, the view that it gives us. And if we check this box here, um, it'll apply that effect and we can see what it looks like without that effect applied. And that works with any effect that we're using in Olive. Right click and go to delete this and we'll add, uh, we'll try this other one. So this Gaussian blur is kind of a really popular one. It uses, I'm not sure if it's like a, some sort of algorithm. It's just a little bit different the way that it does this blurring. And it, it can create really cool effects. You do this a lot in like photography and images and different things. Anyway, let's right click and delete this one. And then the last blur we have is a radial blur. So radial, we actually choose a center. So if we add in this and make it more extreme, we see there's a center point and we can alter the center of where the, the center of the blur is. And it ch uh, changes the effect. So we can blur from like the bottom right corner and create more of a dramatic type of effect. Um, all right, I'm gonna get rid of that. Cause now I'm gonna show you something kind of interesting. You usually you're not gonna want to apply a blur to like your entire image. So let's say we wanted to blur out just a, a certain portion, like just my face in this. So what we can do is this is kind of a workaround that I've found. So because we know Olive at this point in 2019. Um, all of it is still in under heavy development. It's an alpha phase. So they haven't got all the features yet. So for the time being, uh, here's a way that you can blur out a certain portion of a video. So we go to the part we want to blur, like maybe this, and then we apply a crop. So that's another effect that we haven't covered yet. But if we click on the effects and go to distort, we can do this crop effect. And so crop lets us come over to a certain part of the video and just cut out a part of it. So we do left, and then we can do the right side right here. And then we can go to the bottom. I'm just gonna crop out just my face. And then we can do top. We'll, we'll probably cover crop maybe even in the next video, kind of go into more detail about it. So we've cropped this portion of video and I'm not gonna change the position of it at all. I'm gonna leave it exactly right there. Uh, and then I'm going to bring in this same, I'm gonna hold down control and scroll wheel out so we can get to the beginning of this. I'm gonna bring in this, oh, oh, so this crop, what it did, every point of the video is now cropped. So as we watch the video, it's just a video. It's, it's Rendon Ricks with TJ Free. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do So it's just playing this. Uh, we bring in another, well, let's raise this video up to a higher track and the audio to a lower track, I guess. Then we'll bring in the video again on this track here and make sure it's at the same spot. So what that's doing is it's playing the video over top of the video, but since they're the same video, it's just overlapping my face and you can't really tell a difference. So now um, we can apply a blur to this top video. So we go effects, blur, and we can do any one of them really, but maybe we'll do like the, uh, the Gaussian blur. And so now we can blur this and it'll blur my face out a little bit, but it'll show the rest of the video as well. So it's only applying an effect to this. If I delete this video here, we see we're just, we're applying a blur to this entire video track, but this video track happens to be a cropped portion of just my face. And then if we control Z and bring in the rest of the video, then we're, o we're overlaying that cropped blurred video over top of the same video 
to create this effect this video, of blurring out uh, my face. So it's an interesting thing to be able to, to know how to do, because even though they're going to add the feature in the future that you can just select a, a blur a certain location, it's nice to know how to do this because you can, you can create some interesting effects doing colorization, you can do it with blur, you can do some interesting things when you overlay the same video over top of a over top of the same video with some cropping or some effects applied to it. So that's why I wanted to point that out. Plus, a lot of times you're going to want to do this. Now, kind of one of the problems we're going to have is tracking. So I happen to stay in a constant place, but look, so when I look down there, my face goes out of the blur a little bit. Where was that at? So if you have a moving target, this is going to be much more difficult without tracking, which is also not a feature in Olive yet. But uh, I, that's all I wanted to show with Blur, get you a little bit more familiar with effects, applying effects, and you know, seeing what they look like applied and unapplied. And then right click, we can go delete. We can also copy effects. Maybe we'll play with that. We'll play with that in the next tutorial. The next tutorial will cover more about crop, and we'll learn about copying and maybe even saving some some of the settings of the effects. So thanks for watching. Leave questions and comments below. Let me know if you have any cool things that you like to do with the blur effect. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.